Yo guys, what's up? Um, it is <laughs> absolutely freezing. So um, today I'm just going to do a little bit of work on my FN2. So I've got this suede gear gator, which I bought pretty much straight after buying the car because the gear gator looks an absolute mess. So I've got this suede one and I've got this Mugen carbon fibre gear knob. Um, it's almost definitely not genuine. It's genuine carbon fibre, but not genuine Mugen. <laughs> so, um, I got it off eBay. Um, I got both of them off eBay, actually. I'll stick a link to both of them down in the description. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you now why I'm changing it. So this is why I'm changing it, as you can see. It's gone all, all the materials come off. It's like, the original one is like cheap plastic, plasticky leather stuff. Um, it's pretty nasty. So yeah, I've got the Mugen gear knob to go on. The um, suede gear gator, which I think looks a lot better and um, kind of matches with the seats as well, which is nice. So yeah, I've got that. I, I've gone and bought like a proper, proper stapler because you need to staple um, you need to staple it into the gear get us around um, and as for tools I think this is all you need is a flat headed screwdriver quite a thin one uh, a small Phillips screwdriver and this 14 mil spanner the 14 mil spanner is for this so if you try and twist the gear knob off now it won't come off so there is like a little locking tab under here um, it's not the easiest one I've got one hand but yeah under here there's a little locking tab and that just wants cracking off like that and then your gear knob should come off uh, I probably will keep hold of this original gear knob I've seen a lot of people uh, polish them and they look pretty cool polish so I might give that a go at some point and then yeah and then your locking tab should just come off like that if you just unscrew it this has to come off otherwise the uh, the gator doesn't come off so there you go and that's what the tab looks like as you can see it's got flat sides either side that's what the 14 mil spanner um, grips onto uh, it goes on that way so plastic bit to the top the plastic bit is the bit that your gear gator um, clips onto so once that's off I'll just flick that up Sarah's half eaten flapjack in there which is nice um, <laughs> um, then you just want to get a screwdriver behind that top bit and try not to scratch it like I just did um, there you go and then that pops off like that um, yeah easy as that and then as you can see under here there's just three uh, sorry three screws holding it in so just want to pop those screws out now so once you got those three screws out that should pop off like that so the surround will come off separate um yeah and then basically all you've got is these little elastic bits holding the center in and they just want to come off like that And then once you've got that off, the middle will pull out. And then this is where your screw, flat screwdriver comes in handy again. Is uh, you want to prise out these staples. Try not to put it in your finger <laughs> like I nearly just did.
so once you've got it out you want to try and fold it inside out like that because there is a plastic piece here which actually holds the gate the thing up so yeah if you just prise these little tabs up and pull out at the same time it should just give it a bit enough slack and you just have to keep going around at it one bit at a time <laughs> this bit actually uh that makes more sense so that top bit actually pulls out <laughs> after all of that um there you go that make that does make more sense so yeah it's it goes like that and that bit actually pulls out so you want when you've got it all ready you want to fold the gear gator in inside out this piece goes on that way round so you just put it through with like the um the tabs at the top and then this bit just slots inside and basically when you you push it in it grabs it so you can't pull it out um it just clips together so once you've got that piece on like that then you just want to fold it inside out on itself like that it'll be a bit rough at first because it's not taking shape there you go and then this bottom piece should fit through there and because it's new it's not taken shape quite like the other one has. <laughs> um there you go and then that bit should go through there and that's what the um the gear gator will hold on to like that and it's only loose it doesn't hold on that tight you can actually pull it out quite easy but yeah that's that um so now you need to attach it to this bottom piece which um, could be easier said than done it basically you'll know where to staple it because you can see all the staple holes still um so basically that one wants folding over there and stapling onto there and then that one wants stapling on like that um so I'll go and um, get the stapler sorted and then we'll staple it all back together. Right, so I've got it all stapled back in. I didn't film stapling it because it was a bit fiddly and annoying. Um, and yeah, it just was hard to film at the same time. So I've stapled it back in. There's a tab missing on that one. I, I think it's been snapped off. So I haven't stapled that one on, but the rest of them are stapled. You can see there. Just stapled around so it just needs to go back into this piece now so just poke it back through there and it goes that way i think like that um, and then you just want to put your screws back in screws on and then the only difference between um, the original one and this as you can see it's got like a little the original one's got like a little ring on it with these little elast like elastic -y, um things that hook onto here and basically what that does it kind of like tucks the bottom of the gear gator in like that so it looks a bit neater um, I don't know how much that like normally it would sit like that I don't know how much that will affect it, but yeah, this suede one doesn't have that. You can just buy um, the, gear, the gear gator and it actually just like an original one and it actually comes with this plating so, so you can 
just uh, unscrew all three screws and just put the put it in. But like I said, I didn't really like the material of the original one, so that's why I haven't gone down that route. But yeah, that's it all clipped back together. Just make sure I hook that loose one back in. And then it just wants to go back over once you've done that. And that just clips in. So that just pushes in like that. And then you've got your, your locking tab. So that wants screwing back on. Like that. And then your new gear knob. You want to make sure you get that nice and tight. Um, just get your spanner again on it, just to make sure you've got it as tight as possible. There you go. And then once you've locked that locking tab up, the gear knob shouldn't move anywhere at all. Um, that's basically to stop it spinning when you've got it all the way on. And then you just want to pop that up onto there. It just pushes up and it just, it clips on. It's not very tight, but it's on. Um, yeah, and then you ha there you have it. So yeah, that's it all fitted. It looks so much tidier. Uh, it was, they, they weren't very much, the, I think the, the gator is 15 pounds and the gear knob was 30. Uh, you can get one that has like a red stripe around it as well, but I just, I'm, I wanted to, I'm kind of going for a black on black <laughs> theme with everything. Um, and probably quite a lot of carbon fiber. So yeah, it's, uh, really, really cool. It's made such a big difference to it. It looked, it just looks loads cleaner. Um, but yeah, I was meant to be doing the splitter today, but as you can see, it's absolutely chucking it down. Uh, I'll jump out now and we'll show you the splitter because that will be my next job on this car. So next job is going to be the splitter. It's actually just a universal splitter off eBay. It's 30 quid, um, but I've seen a few people fit them and it actually looks really, really good. So um, I think they need a little bit of modifying, but I ordered a black one, but they sent me the, like this fake carbon fiber so I'll, I'll stick it on and see what it looks like if i'm not keen on it i might just paint it black but um yeah it, it kind of goes with the shape of the bumper really really well so um yeah i'm excited to give that a go probably not going to do that till next week but um yeah pretty happy with that it was like 30 quid on ebay so can't can't go wrong <laughs> I've kind of wanted to get that gear gator on for a while because it's re really been annoying me. It like keeps flaking off in, in the car. Um, so yeah, it's nice to get that gear gator on and it just looking a bit tidier inside. I've got um, a new glove box to go in as well because the handle has snapped off the one that I've got in it. So I might just have a go at sticking that, fitting that now. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I. We'll be doing the splitter next. I'm going to try and do a few little jobs on the Toyota Crown as well. Um, going to try and tidy up the headlights and taillights and restore them and just try and make the body work um, look a little bit tidier. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.